Today we're going to discuss the growing trend of plastic surgery among teenagers, uh, particularly in places like Beverly Hills and in wealthier areas of the country. Parents have been giving their children uh, graduation president, presents that include things such as plastic surgery. And there has been a push in teen magazines and in other areas to have plastic surgery among teenagers. In general, uh, the Plastic Surgery Society and myself frown on this in, in many ways. There are many problems with this trend. Uh, initially, if you ask 15-year-old uh, girls if they are happy with their body, you will find that about 80 to 90 percent are unhappy with their body. If you change and then ask college students if they're happy with your body, you'll find that 80 to 90 percent of college students are happy with their body. For these reasons, it is really unwise to consider a body-altering procedure such as plastic surgery at an age like 15, 16, 14. Uh, many times, uh, patients who think they are unhappy with something will either physically change, they'll grow, things will change, or they will become comfortable in their own skin, so to speak. Plastic surgery is something that's permanent. It's serious. It should be done by a board-certified or board-eligible plastic surgeon. And the person who makes the decision to have plastic surgery should be able to make that decision as a mature, or at least as an adult. The legal age of consent is 18. So in general, we consider this the age that we would be willing to perform plastic surgery for purely aesthetic or cosmetic reasons. Now there are reasons to perform reconstructive plastic surgery at earlier ages and, and certainly it should be done at earlier ages. Things such as cleft lips and cleft palates should be treated at the beginning in uh, infancy and in toddlerhood. Uh, other things uh, should be treated as they occur. Children with protruding ears, we usually like to correct that at age six, seven, or eight. One of the reasons we can do that is because the ear is nearly grown by age eight. You can make that adjustment, the ears won't change, and children suffer a great deal of um, harassment if their ears stick out. They're called Dumbo ears, they're called uh, you know, elephant ears, things like that. We don't want them to suffer the psychological trauma of having ears that protrude. And since the ears are nearly grown, we will correct those at an earlier age. There are other times when we will correct things that are uh, deformities. And in addition to that, there are times when psychologically it is necessary to perform some type of aesthetic procedure at a younger age than 18. For example, recently I performed a rhinoplasty on a young lady who was about 15. It is very uncommon for me to do that. Uh, the reason we did that, uh, there were twofold. One, she was probably fully grown. And two, and she, re she received an enormous amount of harassment at her school for this problem. She had a very, very large nose, and it came out of her forehead in sort of a very funny way. Children would call her things like elephant nose and other things like this. After discussing it with her mother, making her wait an entire year, getting notes from the, the school uh, psychologist, and being certain that this is something that was absolutely causing her a great deal of psychological distress, only in that situation, I was then willing to go ahead and uh, alter her nose and make it much smaller, much cuter, much nicer. And I can guarantee you when she goes back this fall to school, no one is going to call her elephant nose. In fact, she'll have a better looking nose than probably most of the people in her school. That's the goal. That's the reason. That will make her feel good about herself. But that situation is extremely rare. Extremely rare. The child has to be suffering psychological consequences. They have to be, they should be, you know, fully grown, and, uh, and the parents should be involved, and in this case we had even the psychologists and the school counselors involved before I was willing to take that step. But simply a graduation present, hey, we're going to give you a bigger breast and a new car, uh, is definitely inappropriate to do that under the age of 18. Once a patient reaches adulthood, both in a, in a mental sense and in a legal sense, at that point they can begin making decisions about their bodies in a wise fashion. But to do plastic surgery or cosmetic surgery for non-reconstructive purposes on someone who is in their teenage years is extremely unwise and will often lead to unhappiness in the future.